Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to do a pretty quick uh, tutorial uh, how to basically if you have a broken AC adapter to a device um, to take this part off and exchange it with uh, a USB cord so that the, the device you're trying to use will still work. So I'm going to point the camera down, we'll get this done quickly. I know we don't really like waiting through like 20 minute videos here. So uh, the one, the easiest way I think is to have, um, you can actually do it, every all of it with just a regular pocket knife, um, some wire nuts or electrical tape. And uh, the wire cutter is definitely more preferred um, because the USB wires are really thin so with them, you would use the actual piece right here where you would get it as thin as you can and pull it out, the wires from the USB cord. So essentially, I had this device here. Um, it was a, well, it still is, a wireless print server. And basically, the power, the power cord stopped working altogether. And I didn't think that there was anything wrong with the device. I was just like, okay, I think it's the power cord. So what I did with that was I cut this, this was the end of the power cord, this little plug right here. And I just cut that off. And then this is just gone. The, um, the AC adapter is just, just garbage now. So I'm going to plug that into the initial device. And then all you need is just a regular, uh, USB. USB cord. So any it could be a USB extender. Uh, it could just be any regular USB port uh, plug. It doesn't matter as long as you have as long as you keep this male end, you can take off uh, the other end. You, as long as you have the male actual USB end, you can take off the other end. So if you have an extension cord, take off the female end. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you're going to take that off, which would then look like this. This was the cord I used. So I kept the male end and then I have the, this was the actual female end. And in the female end, um, there's going to be, as you strip it, uh, with the wire cutters, there's going to be four wires in it. You're going to have a green, we're going to have a green, a white, a black, and a red. Uh, the, the green and the white, you don't need at all. You just disregard it completely. Keep the black and the red because the black and the red are for, are for power and the green and the white uh, are for the data transfer. So I know it's kind of thin here and the, the wires are really thin. So you have to be really, um, you know, Temperamental, temperamental with it, but as long as you get those wires exposed, you, you'll be okay. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in to a USB port, and you know, so you can use any old one. You could use a uh, an iPod one, just a standard one like this. You could even plug it into the computer. Uh, right now, I'm just going to plug this side into the hub, the hub I have over here. So now I'm left with the two wires here. I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can. What I actually, you can use, um, you know, obviously the best way to, to keep it permanent would be to try and solder it. But, you know, if it's going to be stationary somewhere, as long as the wires aren't exposed, uh, you'll be okay. So let me just make sure I have these two lined up. Uh, okay. So I have power right now. I know you can't see it, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap the red. So basically, just see which side which one goes on to power it up. Um, I'm not sure the highest voltage you can get. This little de this device um, requires five volts. Um, so look at the. That's where you would look at the actual AC adapter. It tells you what the input is needed to power the device. And I know at least five volts comes from a USB cord, um, but I think you can get a couple more out of it. 
So I'm going to get these red one, the red together with the one side. And it's not an incredible amount of power, so you don't have to worry about being, you know, electrocuted. Now I'm going to use a little wire nut because um, that'll keep them together uh, the best for as, a, you know, instead of soldering, I can use the wire one. And it might not look like, you know, the fanciest thing in the world, but it does work. But you can use electrical tape, you can solder it, whatever you want to do. I personally like the wire nuts because I know that typically they'll be kept together pretty well. If I can get it. <laughs> so let me try the other side first. So I got the black. Black's going to go over here. I'm going to wrap the black around that side. I'm going to try and wire nut it. Okay, yeah, that one went on a lot easier. And then I'm going to try and wrap this red around with this other wire because right now it's on I'm just trying to keep them together all right cool so we got two wire nuts together and as you can see we have There we go. And that's all you really got to do. Make sure that they are secure because the wires on the USB cord are really thin. Um, and then you can just, if you want, you know, you can electrical tape them just to keep them. Like I said, there's not a whole ton of power going through these things, but you know, just in case you can, uh, uh Put some electrical tape on the bottom of them make sure none of the wires are exposed and so forth so that was just you know but that's just plugged into a to a hub right now i have an old usb cord i'm not using the power adapter and the device still works great and like i said if you want instead of using these to make it less you know like of an eyesore um you can solder them. The wires are really small, so it might be a little more difficult. Or you can just electrical tape them. Um, but if it's just if it's sitting somewhere, it could be behind something. It's not going to be much of an eyesore. Um, but that's how that's pretty much how it works. I mean, it's really simple and it's really easy. Instead of going out and buying, um, you know, a you know, instead of going out and buying a you know, ten to twenty dollar charger or anything like that. Um, you can use that for almost any any device that doesn't require um, a heck of a lot of power. So I believe you could still use it, uh, you know, as a you know for for cell phones and for uh, other things like that, MP3 players and so forth. And you, I mean, I know you can get cord just regular USB cords really cheap. So instead of buying an actual um, the proprietary brand or whatever is needed for the device. You can use any old USB cable that's lying around. It's really simple and that's about it. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you.